Hello and welcome to the Benjamin Zulu show. Now if you're my age, Zulu nachezea hapa almost getting out of youth. Kadhate for. So at my age, most of my people, my friends are married. And most of the times if you are not married, then your opinion on what a marriage should look like, what it is all about, is not taken seriously. I mean, sometimes you don't even volunteer because I mean, what do you know? You and your single life over there. <laughs> what do you know? Yeah. So sometimes when you look at the dynamics in different marriages, from outside you're wondering, ah, is that, is that what it's like? Is it the normal ups and downs? I'm a hapa, there's something more. And sometimes you'd see things happening very earlier on in marriage and you're like, isn't it a bit too soon for that? I'm a, and when you question the people who are in it, they're like, no, 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 marriage is like that. But when, where I'm seated, I'm like, no, it should not be. But maybe sometimes we mistake the normal hiccups of marriage. And sometimes when someone is outright blatantly abusing you. And Leo to Saidiane, akifanya hivi do to juwe Zulu alisema, these are the things to look out for. So uh, thank you for bringing that up. As long as you don't have experience, they discredit. Yeah. Your advice, your knowledge. How do you know? And so let's go to philosophy one or two. Okay. What is the source of knowledge? <laughs> Etymology of knowledge. So <laughs> what is the source of knowledge? For you to say you know something, sh what, what should be the right source? Is it only experience mm. or expertise? Mm. When doctors treat you, must they have suffered what they are treating you from? No. <laughs> I have an answer for you next time when you ask me that question. So, yes. But why do you trust their treatment? Because they are experts. Thank you. They acquired the knowledge by learning, by training. Yes. And we trust the process of training. Mm. In the Catholic world, we have marriage counselors who are fathers, sisters, yes. nuns. They're trusted. Their advice is accurate. They have never been married. Mm -hmm. Paul was never married. He wrote about marriage. And we still, he was actually approved. <laughs> by God uh, to be part of the Bible. Yes. So it's defensiveness to say you're not married. Don't talk to me. Ha. It's defensiveness. You can know things through experience or can learn them through expertise. Mm -hmm. By training. By learning. You can study things and actually help pass on the knowledge. How? Sometimes people experience things as they don't learn. Yeah. Not all experience results in improvement of learning. Mm -hmm. Many people repeat the same things until they're destroyed. Yeah. But if experience, it's not experience that teaches, mm -mm. it's interpretation of experience, the right interpretation of experience that changes your knowledge, that rearranges your mental files and your perception about that subject, not automatically suffering pain that yeah. causes people from, from uh, going to the painful situation. Mm. People suffer, go back, suffer, go back, because mm. they lack the willpower to learn and implement. Again, learning does not come from awareness. Being aware is only the first part of learning. It's yeah. when you assimilate to a form of consciousness, <laughs> then learning is, uh, is complete. Okay, okay, <laughs> okay, okay. If you know something and does not help you at a time of decision making, it's useless. It's when it has formed part of your consciousness. Many of the things you learned in, co in college, you don't know them consciously now. Your brain will be too overwhelmed. Mm -hmm. If you are to keep them in your conscious right now, yes. all the things you learned. Yes. But they, they come in when you need to make decisions. That's when you know, yeah, I have learned. Mm. Yeah, <laughs> we proved. <laughs> I'm doing better. <laughs> this one, you know, and you can't even know how it came because you have exposed, internalized it, it became part of your system, yeah. operating system. Mm -hmm. Never let people discredit your advice about something just because you have never seen it experientially. You go to a doctor who is younger than you, you are, you are older than them. Yeah. And they ask to inject you in uncomfortable places. And you have to go back. Doctor, yeah. did you say this one? Uh, yeah, because yes. there's a solution to your sickness. Yeah. This time's one, time three. When next they come? And what do you yes. think is the best way to... Yeah. A younger doctor. You even call them some mothers. My daughter, oh, did you say this one? <laughs> you guide them yes. by expertise. They respect it. All right? So let's talk about now what is the difference. Whenever you hear toxic marriage and abusive, you imagine mm -hmm. ugliness. Yes. An ugly partner. Yeah. But the ones who are telling you usually warn you. When you meet them, you won't know whether they are capable of that. Yes. Many times the people describing their partners start with a warning. Don't expect to meet a person with horns, eh? The things I'm describing are not coming from an, uh, a ho 
horns, mm. ugly devil. Mm. They start by warning. They're describing a human attribute I want to introduce today, which is the most dangerous, but it's not described. What is that? The duality of people's personalities. Abusive people are not ugly outright. Otherwise, you would flee. You wouldn't stay with them. You would marry them. If they were mi mistreating you consistently, mm. <laughs> there would be no dilemma. But they are not. In fact, when you hear a person who's saying how they're being beaten up, abused, insulted every day, you're wondering, and so? Yes. They are consistently bad. So what are you asking from me? Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> There's mm. no dilemma there. Mm, mm. <laughs> no dilemma. Yes. So if it's your dependency because they are also feeding you, because you don't want the name of being uh, single, because you don't want to be seen as if you can't be seen anymore, because of your own reasons that you are choosing, that's your choice. That person is clearly bad. Yes. That's the problem also with the devil, eh? <laughs> He's eh? not through and through bad. Eh -eh. He has some packs. Like, well, I won't impose rules on you. Enjoy life. That sounds nice. <laughs> <laughs> you know, when you go to God telling you ten commandments, no commandments, that isn't. It is to do, do you? Freemason. You do, do thy will. Yes. Do what? Yes. <laughs> do thy will. Every. When you hear toxicity, don't imagine ugliness. I want to blot that on your image today to stop expecting to meet a very bad looking person mm. when people describe their abusers. If they were just bad through and through, it would be easy to get clarity and decide, I can't belong here, I can't stay here. Bad people have good things, good packs, good sides. <laughs> and in fact, many people will describe it very clearly. When you are trained, you can pick it quickly. Because they usually start by saying, we are actually we are doing very well. Like we have built this and that. We have come from far together. We have supported me during the moment times. It's one person understands. They describe the good side first. Okay. They'll present it very clearly. If you know how to interpret it, today I'm training you to be the doctor. Okay. You don't have to suffer it. Yes. So many of them usually t tell you the dilemma clearly by telling you what is good. Okay. <laughs> and then, <laughs> uh... what is bad? Abuse means dilemma and lack of clarity, difficulty to decide, a mix of good and bad. <laughs> Toxicity means debilitating, confusing dilemma. Abusers don't kick you out. Through. They beg, they act nice, they treat you, they plead, they treat, make you feel so special. You're only the person who understands me. And then you feel special. Next time, you devil, you useless, they kick you. The same woman who, I think it was it, off oh, you were telling me a guy who had agreed to a bigger arrangement. Mm. The woman has a boyfriend, mm. it is his wife. Mm. But she says, I want both of you. I want the guy, yes. and also you, and you matter very much to me. Mm. And I do not get time to tell you that that man's masculinity is cracked. There is no man who is healthy who is a woman. He would rather be alone. That man's testosterone levels need to be checked. Oh, okay. <laughs> so, some, something is wrong. You hear polygamy but not bigamy. Yeah. Bigamy was a crime when you, are, you have not divorced the first husband that you married and all. Mm. There's no time polygamy has been a crime. But bigamy was a crime. What does it tell you? For as long as the hyenas are the judges, yes. the goat will never have rights. <laughs> <laughs> well put. <laughs> Swahili well translation. Put. <laughs> it's a Swahili proverb. Yeah. <laughs> but <laughs> to say, how come? Those are the same concepts. Mm. Why was one a crime, the other one not? Mm. <laughs> because who is writing the laws? Yes. <laughs> we know who is. We know exactly who is. And in some religions, the man can have as many as four. Yes. Just announce uh, talak or this. Uh, and, uh, yes, uh, not yes, the other way. <laughs> we know who. <laughs> so, you, you, we, that man was settling for that because he, that was consistently bad. But the society did not tell you why he needed this woman in his life. For you, you are thinking now, if somebody has declared their stand, that you're not enough for them, why are you still there? 
Yeah. He could have continued and say, I use her car, I live in a house, I need her money, everything she get the job, I work in a company. So he could have described a situation mm. Mm. a good and a bad. Yes. <laughs> That's the debilitating. Now, so what is what then? If this if it's the same person who maybe at times stands with you, stands beside you, be careful if you're an achiever. Okay. My problem is I was so driven. And I could not find people who are driven like me. Okay. And I, I wanted a, to dream and get person to share the dreams with, and they are uh, outlandish. Oh goodness! <laughs> Things mm. that uh, one girl after the date she asked me that that was an exam because her head is spinning. Excuse me. That it was a day. Oh, it was oh, supposed oh, to oh, be a lunch <laughs> date. What did you do? We talk that we are talking now. No. <laughs> <laughs> Poor girl, what did you do to her? And she's a nurse. This is a working person. <laughs> and I'm not saying anything about nurses. I'm just saying I harassed some people <laughs> by my energy, thinking I'm being romantic. You gave her a headache. I learned not to be too intense. You know, <laughs> I was coming from a place of you hammer the point with a punch. I mean, you, you, you drop the point. <laughs> Why? That must have been her longest date ever. That was a bad ever. feedback, and I did not need to know that I'm getting another date. <laughs> yeah, that one you knew outright. I, I, I mean, when you're getting such horrible reviews, yeah. usually you need to go back and check. Is this, is this really a field? It worked out fine. One time yeah. I auditioned for for comedy. You did? told me, you have very good ideas, only I'm not sure. This is not the right packaging for them. <laughs> I was looking for any kind of stage. <laughs> and the judges were perplexed. <laughs> Other guys are empty. We are trying to tell them to get ideas. But you have so deep ideas. Yes. But yes. they're not packaged for stand up. <laughs> stand up is line punch. Line yes. punch. Yes. What? Yours is. <laughs> Help me. What is your field? <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> It's very interesting. But <laughs> they, 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 I can't put a finger on it. But I think the packaging. <laughs> hey. So it's 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 sometimes it's not it's not they did this, it's what they occasionally do that I need. Okay. okay. That's occasionally hold you up. Mm. And the worst type are those who are good for a whole month for a long time. Then one bad incident that is life threatening. That threatens threatens your self esteem, your confidence, your reputation, your finances. Or one secret side, a an appetite for loans. For yeah. There are girls who can spend money creatively. Mm. 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 Very creatively. <laughs> she find a way of buying something that is out outrageous. Yeah. But oh my god, it's so nice. Thank you. You're such a nice guy. But it's an over expenditure. <laughs> it's a stretch of where we are. Yes. <laughs> There's know? a dent somewhere. <laughs> you know? <laughs> so I can get very confused. A very sweet girl, but occasionally her needs are just out of this world. Yeah. Uh, the one girl wanted to wed, and that girl had dreamt of a gown from Italy. From her bath. She wanted to import the wedding gown from Italy. In fact, she has a particular tie. Mm. She has so new. She knows what she wants. <sighs> She has the online shop that even she has organized how it will be shipped uh, on time. Resourceful. <laughs> <laughs> but the budget of that gown is the whole budget of the wedding, what I had. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> so, in fact, many guys, we have, people have evolved to hiring. Why should we buy it and we're using it once? Fonts, yeah. I mean, yeah. in yeah. the West, people inherit grandma's mm. gowns, mm. <laughs> you know, yeah. rings, this yes. that thing, you know. Yes. You know. And then uh, she might not have any other problem apart from every now and then when we are trying to put up a house, she comes and adds five extra rooms. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> it's a disaster. Elsewhere, you're doing okay. Yes. Except you go for a holiday and the budget will balloon five times over. Because she insisted on cruising on a yacht. Just one round to yes, taste. Yeah, to yeah, taste yeah. I want to uh, paraglide. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know? It's on my bucket list. Oh, my honey, thank you so much. You've made my holiday. But at what cost? Yeah. Do you see? Abusers who are smiling are very hard to label as abusers. 
when they abuse you and they're smiling, it's very hard. <laughs> <laughs> when they abuse you and they're still saying thank you. How do you call that toxic? How do you tell? <laughs> you seem so happy. Yes. yes. <laughs> so it's true. <laughs> the yin and the yang, the one who is doing things while appearing nice is very difficult. And I saw guys representing a meme mm -hmm. of where we can sit on the table and I'm stepping on your toe. But on top here, I'm smiling. Yes. So people can't see. They can't see. <laughs> you have to look like you're cooperating with this man. Yes. <laughs> you know? Yeah. And that's how moms would do. You misbehave when they're guests. You are pinched. Dare you turn that face and look like you're... <laughs> Can you smile as I pinch you? You know? <laughs> so, so there are times when the, the thing that is causing you, draining you, sinking you down. Yeah. You may have a person who has a gambling tendency. They go online, they gamble, they lose all the money, but they plead, they cry, they ask for your help for them to get out. How do you deal with a person whose attitude is not bad, but they have deadly weaknesses? And the attitude is not bad. How? And in fact, they are the only who understands me. Yeah. <laughs> They'll even go to the extent of, I'll do whatever it takes, I'll go to a rehab. You know? Whatever you need for me to do. And now, without knowing it, that tendency of theirs becomes the center of attention. It's draining our finances, yes. draining our peace of mind, draining everything. Mm. So what is, how then uh, do you differentiate? And why do people get into relationships? One young man telling me he's, I think, 26 or 27. Mm -hmm. uh, seeing this girl who's 23 with a child and the child has special needs. Okay. And asking me, parents are very opposed to, to me, I don't want to leave her, to, 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 and marry her, to, 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 to. <laughs> I am ready. <laughs> uh, the one th w it's very hard to describe a situation when you are pitiful of the one who is in it. Okay. That young man will marry a problem because he is pitiful of the one who is in it. Mm, okay. Many people will drain you and damage your life who bring toxicity, backwardness, draw you down, were never aggressive or angry or outwardly abrasive. It is the way they exist and the, other, the way they have organized their lives. The growth they never did. They focus on other investors. This girl is still... <laughs> at what age is she getting children? Forget the condition of the children. At what age? At what age is she trying, trying to marry? She never learned anything. Does she understand the seasons of her life? This young man is also too young to be thinking like this. Mekali, it's okay to be independent. But if you attempt something and everybody in your life is shocked. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mm, 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 mm. There's a balance between being a people pleaser and being sensitive. Yes. Surely not everybody hates you. You know people mean well for you. Mm. It could be your dad only. Yes. <laughs> but there's someone. There's someone. <laughs> you know. Yeah. Unless you are the devil yourself, you can't be enemies with everyone. Yeah. <laughs> if, 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 <laughs> if, to, if Tom has a problem with everyone, mm -hmm. Tom is the problem. Yes. So there are those people who mean well for you and you know it. Yeah. Even if even them, and I asked him, don't you have anybody who has your goodness at heart of all those people? Yeah, at the sister of mine, we are very friends and uh, what is our opinion? They're just cold. They're saying if you insist. Okay, so he's being told. Because they can't speak against a girl who has a child who has a special needs. Yes. But somehow they are communicating. Yes. D did I tell you that it's very difficult uh, to describe somebody without implicating the other, without appearing like you are discriminating the other, mm. and you look like this one can snitch or can tell on you yes. to the other one. Yes. So this sister is afraid you might marry this woman and she'll be here for years. Yes. Now, if I tell you bluntly that you're making a bad choice, you might tell her that she is our enemy. Yes. <laughs> now I'm bluntly. two of you might choose oh, each oh other. And <laughs> so... I told him now that I'm outside this, I might as well tell you the truth. <laughs> <laughs> this is what your family is trying to tell you. <laughs> yes. Mm -hmm. There's no problem marrying anybody, the child or whatever is happening in their life. But in terms of transactions, you're getting a horrible deal. You're too young. Yeah. This girl has not been developing. This is a show we did about what's wrong with a person yes. who has always been in relationships. Yes. What has he been doing in her life? Mm -hmm. Now she's in a crisis. That child is a crisis. Very needy. Yeah. You can't tell whether she really loves you. Because she sees a rescue for her situation. Okay. And when you marry people in crisis, you're, she's supposed to grow until she's, a, she's managing that situation comfortably. Yeah. Right now she has no money. She has never grown or educated herself or gone to a job. She's just been <laughs> doing things. 
both of you are too young to be doing these kind of things. And yes. really you're riding a feeling and it will take you to a crash. This woman will complicate your life without being abusive. She can be very polite even. Very nice. But the situation, the way she exists, yeah. the amount of money you need, the amount of attention you need, energy you need, work you need. So I told you, your father, I think it was his mom. No. Two friends, two people. She, he, <laughs> the others outwardly, yeah, get out of here. But they have never been your friends anyway. So the ones who have been your friends. Yes. <laughs> Uh, rather, you know that troubling silence. Yeah. Mm. You explain, and their comment is like, they sip water first. Mm. So, um, by the way, they take the story another direction yeah, first. Because uh, they don't know what to do. Uh, this. Uh, so, so, uh, is lunch ready? <laughs> yes. <laughs> they moved on. So, is that I told him, you know, you've made that right decision on the people who are for you are excited for you. Yes. Not when they are permissive. Be, dent be careful with the permissive will of your mentors and the permissive will of God. <laughs> be careful. <laughs> Sometimes God can give you a king if you insist. Give you a soul if you insist. But yes. warn you, this was not my idea, it's yours and it mm. will cost you. No, we want to give you. No. <laughs> he can insist. If you insist, sometimes you can have it. So I told him, if you insist, you will marry her. But my friend, you will pay the price to the fool. This woman has never developed herself. And I've always told men to grow until they are 30 first. There's a softness I find among 27, 26, mm. 27 year old, mm. 80 year old. Mm -hmm. That is troubling. And blindness that is all troubling. Oh, okay. I mean, you've gone to the market. What is this you're negotiating for? Yes. Is this a good deal? Mm -hmm. In terms of where you want to go in life? Yes. Is this what you want to carry? <laughs> so, <coughs> they're very impatient. Mm -hmm. Presumptuous. Mm -hmm. <laughs> too trusting. Oh. Too naive. Yes. <laughs> so the first category of how to identify toxic relationships is there are people who they torment you by the way they live. It's not who they are. Okay. This girl did not focus on growing herself. Mm -hmm. She went around, got a kid. She's still young. Instead of saying, hey, I'm still 23, my friend. Can't it now? I realize I made one blunder. I have like three again. years. I want to give my child a quality life. I want to organize. She's still ready to get. She has never learned. What was the one problem, if you may remember? Of dating people who have always been in relationships, they have never become themselves. Mm. Mm. They'll be so needy, you can't love them enough. You do not call me, you do not. Have. So they'll start getting that attention from wherever because they're so craving and needy. So the one, the one thing is identify the relationships that can torment you because of the way the person lives, the yeah. gaps in their life, mm -hmm. the direction they are facing. The things they are procured, the addictions they have never addressed. Yeah. While the person is nice and even empathetic. Yeah. You know, sometimes even people ask you to leave. Me, I think I'm tormenting you. I would think you can just break up. Oh. It's very hard to break up with a person who's talking like that. Yes. It's reverse psychology. Yeah. No, Mia, you know, I love you and I care. And uh, you know, and you, you quote some verses out of context. But, uh, love bears all things, right? <laughs> hopes all things. <laughs> That is it was not romantic love, please. That love in that context. <laughs> <laughs> please, romantic love, be practical. And calculate from yourself. You're buying for yourself. The way you fit the suit, does it fit me? Mm -hmm. If I don't buy it, I'm not judging the seller. Mm -hmm. I'm saying I'm looking for what fits, fits. me. Yes. <laughs> you self-carry when you pick. Yeah. The second rule is that these people who mistreat you only once in a, in a while, mm -hmm. And then they say something came over me. Yeah. It wasn't me. At Others time. even accuse you. It's how you provoked me. Yeah. See what you're making me do to you. <laughs> you know? Mm -hmm. That group, the solution is to not true love who never even imagine hurting you. See even that. when they are high on alcohol, high on anger. And we asked the other day, when they get angry or alcohol, do they beat up the police? No. They beat up their bosses. No. Do they insult the judge? Do they do, no. They know where to insult yes. the when they're drunk. Yes. It's not that drunkenness is lack of respect. That is true. Sometimes they drink to get courage to do those things. You say be careful with what people tell you when they're angry and drunk. Most likely they've been longing to tell you that. Mm. Most mm. likely. Mm. <laughs> it is the truth. <laughs> they've been dying to say that to you. Yeah. And what you need to realize is if they can do it consciously. And repeat it. Mm. You, are, you don't have a soulmate. You have a counterfeit of a soulmate. A soulmate cares for your soul. 
we get the wonderful thing of growing together with your partner is you get to see the inside of them with closer clarity to get to know their heartbeat what they care about mm. what they live for and you even feel compassion for their struggles and yeah. you see how they're trying to make your life easier how they're putting effort to make you happy how you see that and you feel deeper appreciation and I told you um, I saw this quote I'm trying to remember I said it that do not keep your eyes open to your masses okay. those who those who have forgotten the, the, the graces, I'm trying to get the, the paraphrase of it. Okay. You have fallen asleep in life when you forget to say thank you for those who have made sacrifices on your behalf. Absolutely. That's why I find it difficult for people to not thank God, to get million systems mm. working without a supervisor, mm. to make you wake up. A heart that does not need to be reminded, and a kidney that coordinates with the liver right, and the pancreas members who send the message to the brain, yes. and the bladder is there, and you just send a signal, please take water, please do this. Please. Yes. Who is communicating it? And you can dare to be presumptuous of the designer. It, it makes me shiver. And he wrote in Romans and said, even if this scripture, what you're reading, was not written, yeah. God left you enough to look for him. Mm. You are own body. The moment you become conscious to reason, yeah. see the eye that the tiny dot in the middle of your eye is really the one that is observing. And you can mm. see all this using such a tiny thing. Yes. And even the guy was proposing evolution, said it is insane to imagine the eye without its complexity evolved on its own. Charles Darwin admitted. He said it's yeah. actually absurd. Yeah. The eyes, you so he was being as he was the, the, the challenges of his theory. Mm. That one of the most complex things we have is apart from the brain is not visible, so sometimes we forget it because we are using it to process. Mm -hmm. We forget its own presence. Uh huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> because it's the one we are using. Yes. So he said, because the brain is hidden, let's talk about the eye. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Do you know your eyes are two and they never see two images? If you use two cameras, you see two things. Yes. To coordinate two cameras to see one thing. Mm -hmm. These eyes are so independent, one can damage, the other one is not working. Mm -hmm. And yet they coordinate perfectly and there are two systems. And you know, by the way, they alternate. Inside, the system for this goes the other side, and this one goes the other way. Mm. You, inside your eyes, this side of the brain controls this side. They're the other way. Oh, wow. <laughs> you know? Yeah. They, they, they form an X behind that. So if you get injured, yeah, it's this one. That, <laughs> they're different subsystems. But do you know you can zoom here and still zoom to the horizons a thousand kilometers away with instantaneous synchronization? You don't even realize it. If you look through a glass and there's a dot on the glass, try to look yes. at the dot, then look through the glass to the mountains. Uh -huh. That's called, if you use cameras to do that, it will take you a lot of work mm -hmm. to focus on either that dot mm -hmm. on the glass mm -hmm. or the horizons through the glass. Yeah. In camera work, that's a very complex operation. And many cameras are incapable of it. Okay. And we're talking about one camera. Now take two cameras, do that okay. in synchronization. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so one thing I want you to learn how to be appreciative of People are consistent with love, shows a care, concern for your well being yeah. by instinct. A person who loves you, Mikali, and love is, you find it among friends. There are friends who care so much. It's yes. not romance, mm -hmm. but you, you f they feel you and you feel it. Yeah. They think for you. They come up, but that's your own yours. I saw something here. Yeah, that solves it. Thank you for remembering me. It has been on my mind. Yeah. You feel loved. You should not just be told you are loved. Yeah. You should feel loved. So if the same person can one time come up and tell you words, you are useless. Can one time come up and take away your money, but mouth you with another person. Come up one time and beat you. Come up one time and try to damage your job. Come mm. up one time. Mm. Does that person care? Uh -uh. Thank you. Uh -uh. If a person can do deliberately something, and you're not saying people can't hurt, sometimes I do a selfish thing without thinking about my wife and it hurts her. Yeah. But once I learned it, did I repeat it? No. So once somebody can do something that hurts you and repeat it, knowing, and repeat it and knowing, yeah. you're not with a soulmate. That's a mistake. The third thing how to differentiate uh, love, uh, normal ups and downs mm -hmm. from uh, abuse. Yeah. The normal ups and downs of life don't involve patterns and repeated offenses okay once something happens and it has hurt uh, my partner i try to learn and adjust yes they involve choices abuse is choice ups and downs is weaknesses 
One time my wife left and told me, remember to remove those clothes in the hanging line? Mm -hmm. And she spent two days away, she found some, some disappeared, carried by the wind. <laughs> I think I forgot the moment days, she left. Two days, two days. <laughs> two days. She told me, surely, can I even trust you with our child? Will you forget <laughs> it like that? <laughs> <laughs> can, we, can we trust? <laughs> no, please, with our child. <laughs> oh, my God. So that's a weakness. And yeah. it was not the first time I forgot like that. I tune out very quickly. Because my personality is intuitive, and intuitive people are floating. Mm. Usually, into the next thing, next thing. You belong to it, you know better. Yes, <laughs> yes, yes. It's like we're on the move. <laughs> so, yeah. That thing of, uh, I have to say, remind us. Do they work? <laughs> sometimes, sometimes the reminder is there. Do you know, I tried to boil eggs twice. <laughs> Same time. So I get on phone and I hear uh, uh, ballistas in my <laughs> kitchen. <Yes. laughs> cool. Oh, <laughs> oh my! God. So I go and set afresh again. This oh, time I'll oh, be attentive. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Other two eggs I put there. Somebody calls. <laughs> I get lost. They call. Poo poo again. I gave up. <laughs> so that's a weakness that inconveniences us. Yes. But because it's not conscious, it's not something you do to hurt someone. Not malicious. Ups and downs don't involve malice. It's a, a person's weakness that they try very hard to work on. Yeah. One reason I do that is to carry a bag or enough pockets. I don't place fonts around or things. No. Oh. This time I placed a camera. I went to print f uh, photos. Yeah. And I, when I, hand, I was handed the photos mm -hmm. and I came holding the camera, in my mind I'm still holding. <laughs> That's how I forgot. About. Three days, it was new. I brought it to the student loan. It was a way to survive that semester, surely. <laughs> When I was young, I went to the bicycle, to market the bicycle and forgot it there. And then, you know, you can forget something and realize you forgot. But there's another degree of forgetting where you forget it and you don't even realize. <laughs> they are looking for the bike and I'm in my wall. Wh which which bike? <laughs> <laughs> there was a bike, guys. <laughs> so. Did I? I actually went. With it. <laughs> How do you go home on foot and you went on a bike and you don't? Oh my God! So I've improved. As I am, where I was more present, abs in my. Okay. Okay. <laughs> so, a weakness that brings no more ups and downs now we lose some clothes <laughs> this one's a yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you know mm. uh, so what happens is you realize it's not malicious and the person genuinely mm. apologizes and tries to change yes. and one of the things is uh, ma malice or abuse is when a person turns it on you does not own up yeah. puts no effort to heal you yeah. or to correct mm. and you can see vindictiveness or an mm. A quiet intention to keep you in the same place to sabotage your progress. If somebody takes a phone and starts insulting your contacts, for example, or quietly pushing them away, and you may not realize it until one of them, you follow them, you, you disappeared. What happened? Somebody texted me from here, this text. Mm -hmm. You realize this person is doing things to sabotage. Yes. And remember, we said anybody socially isolating you is committing, is doing you the worst injustice because some of the contacts. I've taken you years yes. to acquire. And if somebody isolates you socially, mm -hmm. they have actually massacred your career. Yes. You know, we take lightly some things mm -hmm. because probably we are giving people chances or understanding. But the difference is in their intention and how often they will do this thing to you. Right. And if they do those things to you and still turn it around to be like, you are the reason why I did this. Or at that point, that's when they tell you what it is that you do not do. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. So, if someone refuses to empathize or listen when you explain how they hurt you, if they twist things to make it your fault, or if they repeat the same hurtful behavior time and time again, that's not normal ups and downs. It's abuse. Yeah. Remember, you can never get a soulmate from someone who has the stomach to hurt you intentionally. If you install them in your life, you essentially be placing an enemy inside the house of your life. And with even small effort, they'll eventually bring you down. Well, maybe. At least they'll hold you back from advancing with your life until your season passes. You choose. What are you doing?